Welcome to the Safety Third Podcast. Uh, I have a very, very important question for you guys. I, I wanted to open this with an icebreaker. I came up with this question I've been thinking about. Okay. If Wait. it's if what? You didn't introduce anyone. You I, just went right I, I, I decided I decided that no one cares. Um, okay. So here's my question. <laughs> here's my question. How many people have seen your wiener? Doctors on accident, yes. like if what, give me, what's your guess? Do you, I like do this, you right? Yeah, if, if you think I'm accident, your, your if you think I've seen you, <laughs> you uh, then I count. I, like, I don't know, you. probably like, probably like 30? <laughs> well, 30? Oh, oh, that, Kevin, what? I don't know. I feel like, <laughs> no, that's, no, that's, that's what like, are you, I don't know. Kevin, what are you like 145. <laughs> 100. Well, I'm trying to think like, you know, I've been to the doctor, you get physicals and like they definitely... You get, once a year. Well, are we talking Actually, since so, when we're babies or like, um, or like since we've been I, I conscious? think babies count too, you know. I, so I think we that's can count once that. a no, year. No, I don't think that counts. Okay, no, no baby. So, that's okay, once a year about, until you're at no. least an adult. I'm going to so, make this real weird. But after the age of 10. It doesn't count unless you know that of ten. After the age of 10. I mean, you have to be able to recall okay. last time it's, okay, it's happened, Okay, two. I'm though. down to two. Down to two? Well, like, <laughs> you, you go to the doctor. What if you're just like, you know, I, I'm pretty sure when we were in Florida, you know, and you're like pissing in the bush and like. Somebody, <laughs> right. somebody saw it. Right. At the, at the park. It's hard to, it's very, it's hard to hide, you know, it's like very. Is, is that <laughs> a flex on how big your wiener is? <laughs> exactly. I don't know. I would say like maybe a dozen. Maybe. I don't have yeah, a number. Twenty. I don't, I don't have a, an accurate uh, number. I'd be confident saying it's at least one if I count myself. <laughs> 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 I can say that for sure. Uh, what about you, Peter? All right. How many wiener? Do follow up question. How many wieners Ooh, have you seen? Hundreds. See, that's an easier Thousands. question to ask. <laughs> Thousands. <of them. laughs> at least one if I count myself. I don't cool. even know how I got. I don't even know how I thought about that. I was just. I was like. There must have been something that I saw that just made me think. It may have been a Reddit post or something where it was like talking about, you know, how many things have happened during your life. And I was like, I wonder, you know. Oh, like that's one of the things that like if you die and you get, yeah, and you get you, to heaven and you're stat. like, yeah, like that's a stat that you'd want to see. Right, right. Like how many people saw my wiener that I didn't know about? <laughs> that you like, didn't know about. <laughs> this is a science podcast, right? Uh, um, oh, no, it's a safety podcast. I don't know what podcast. to expect today. <laughs> How is that safe? I mean, I'm at this unsafe. rate, it's not. At the, considering none have been posted, it's not even a podcast. <laughs> oh God! Don't. This is so a here's dumpster a, here's fire. Here's a potential <laughs> one that this has been on my mind for a while. So okay. I was in the bathroom, and and the door was like open, and and you could see like a reflection of the front door through like a window into the bathroom. Uh, and I got an Amazon package as I was in the bathroom, and I'm like, this guy probably saw me like. Taking, away. taking a big old dump. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, that guy might, farts. you might have to add another another count to your... <laughs> <laughs> so that's the thing I'll never know. Right. Well, yeah. But he might have a story when he gets home. Like, I, I, I guess what happened today. <laughs> um, what have you guys been up to? So, yeah. I know that you filmed a music video, Kevin. I did. That might have been another one where they saw my wiener. I was doing one with, mm-hmm. with Critical, mm-hmm. Moist Critical, were you doing Charlie. Stunts? Oh yeah, we were yeah. So we like we got there and we had to do this fight scene. So we're like, you know, practicing how to do a fight scene and I was like, we gotta call Will because he just did that nobody thing. Yeah. And I don't know. It took a while. It was pretty hard. Like we accidentally kind of punched each other yeah, a couple yeah, yeah. times. Like definitely like just grazes your lip a couple times. Cause it's hard. You have to like m- you know, if you're punching somebody and the camera's right here, yeah. you have to, like, kind of hook it past the camera and come in. So it yeah. looks like you got hit. They cheat it a just... lot. Like, there's so much cheating yeah. to, like, make it so the camera is, like, or the fist is in between the face and the camera to hide it. Oh, did you see that the camera moved you almost on my junk pile? <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys, so what did you do? You just, you were, like, you were, you were, uh, you just filmed for, like, so the whole it, day? Yeah, it was a whole day. It was like half of Friday and then all of Saturday from like 9 in the morning to 9.30 at night. Wow. It, it, was, it was a full production. Like there was camera guys, sound guys, people like helping camera guys with lenses. And yeah, it was, it was a lot of stuff. That's awesome. So it was like a, um, he was doing a music video. And the, the point of the music video, it's probably going to be out by the time this podcast hmm. is out. But it was like, <laughs> next year. I'm a nerd. <laughs> And Charlie's the bully, and like I'm having the like he's kind of like, what is it like? 
unintentionally emasculating me like the whole the whole time throughout the beginning of it like we're in the locker room lifting weights and i'm like lifting fives and he's lifting like 150 <laughs> i have a crush on a cheerleader and i'm like fantasizing about her and then he like he kind of like breaks my fantasy and like <laughs> leans up against her on the locker room and then there's like a locker room scene where like he walks in and he like lets his towel down and I'm like looking between his legs at the camera <laughs> and like my towel falls down and I'm wearing whitey tighties. So you could, he's so, got to add another person to his list. Oh yeah. Wait. So, and every, and everybody like behind on the camera, they all saw everything too. It was it just his ass. No, he, he was wearing underwear. Oh, damn. He should have just, like, worn a sock, and you could just, like, see it. I wanted, I thought it would be funny if you could, like, bare ass it for the camera. <laughs> but, <laughs> Wait, that was Charlie? So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Kevin was at, uh, so, was in California, and then they were like, oh, we want to talk, like, can we get Kevin's number? And so we just, we just called them, and, like, yeah, we wanted Kevin in a music video. Kevin didn't want to do it, too. I was like, do it, do it, do it, do it. I, I didn't want to do it until, like, because he was explaining it, and I'm like, okay, I'm a nerd that, like... <laughs> I uh, get in a fight and stuff like that, and I, I kick everyone's ass. Okay, and then he said at the end of the video, you wake up in the toilet stall. It was all a daydream, and you see Charlie out there, and you go up to punch him, and he punches you, and then the video just ends. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I didn't entice you. No, that enticed me. Like when he said, oh, like okay, he yeah. just punches me, and it's over. I'm like, oh, okay, I get it now. I get well, what. What is you got? You've been typecast. Because then I'm like, okay, so it's like a silly thing. You've been typecast like, as you know, a nerd. <laughs> I know. Oh God. You know, uh, um, cameraman John was typecast as a bully. He's in an episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. No, I, I vaguely remember you talking. Yeah, about I don't think I, yeah, I don't I think remember, this has really ever been too. shared. But he's just like flat out, like right there, like next to. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. A, I'm not a um, really a, a watcher of the show, but I think Charlie. Okay. Uh, always sunny. Well, I think that's William too. Osmond lore. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it's Charlie. I think they're like they're they're he's in a scene with them, um, like with Charlie and like two other guys. He doesn't he does like he doesn't wasn't allowed to talk or anything. Like they even asked like oh like can he laugh and they're like no, because <laughs> then it uh -huh. counts as like a speaking role or something. Yeah, so he's just mm. I I think that's really funny. That's weird. Like a lot of people have seen John and they don't even realize it. Right, Isn't I didn't know that was a thing though. That if you talk, anonymous, that's a different. Right? He's, he is an, mostly anonymous. We don't hide it that well, but like, you know. So is he credited uh, in the episode? Ye, mm, I don't think so. It'd probably just be like, you know, just like background or ac extra or something. I don't really think that. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't know. If you had a speaking role, that's when I think they have to credit you. I don't know. I don't know how I mean, it works. I think dude. they credit you as silent bully number. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just generic bully number three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The uh, but, like ugly bully, and you're like, wait, what? Right, <laughs> ugly, like, gross bully, ugly Nash, wow. right? <laughs> nerd, gross, gross nerd character yeah. that no girl would ever want to date. <laughs> Kevin Cole. Oh man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, dude, it I was feel awkward. Like I had to get up really close to this cheerleader, and we like had to go in for a fake kiss scene. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> it was. It was it was bad. I, let me guess. Did Charlie have a real, a real kiss scene with her? Oh no, no, that would have been actually bad. Then I would. Have... <laughs> that would be funny. Charlie's like, I <laughs> right. Like the whole thing is just Charlie, like actually, kind of just like trying to, Charlie, like you know, <laughs> kiss a girl. <laughs> I feel like that happens. Charlie just all doesn't the time. like me, so he's just trying to like get in my head the whole video. Like actually, that happened uh, like in high school filmmaking classes. Chelsea did like some guy he was actually a, fr a friend he was like doing this like film and he like it was like a kissing scene <laughs> like, oh, had, he, like, he wrote it yeah, and, and, just so yeah and, and uh, then he asked Chelsea to do it and, or, and then Chelsea's uh, her boyfriend at the time like like made her do it <laughs> what? yeah <laughs> like this could be your big break right you know it's just a bunch of like 16 year old kids like just making really yeah. bad videos like before youtube was really even wait like a, i have a, a question thing. how did her boyfriend at the time make her do it i think he just thought it was funny i don't oh. know i mean it is funny. i'm just i'm just wondering how he it made her do it well i mean you know like <laughs> peer pressure yeah peer pressure okay yeah. i mean it's just an interesting uh occurrence Dynamic. i'll yeah. say that i'll say that <laughs> Well, it's high school. I mean, the does cheerleader? Anything, does anything in high school make sense? I was sense? asking her. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. 
I asked her like, so is this like your first role? And she's like, well, my, my manager says to say that I've done a lot of stuff in the past, but, but yeah, this is the first thing I've done. <laughs> Kevin, fun. you can't spill the secret. <laughs> <laughs> she's an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kevin's. Well, no, you've been, you've done TV before, but it's just like your YouTube stuff. Yeah. Have you guys, Nigel, Peter, like any, I mean, I feel official. No, nah. no, nothing. I don't, I don't want to brag, Ohio. but mm -hmm. last uh, March, um, I was on the set of the new Home Alone movie. Uh, oh, like that's making it. I, nerdy, I, sci nerdy scientist. I was, uh, you know, maybe on screen in the background. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> we were supposed to, that movie. I'm waiting for it to come out. So wait, I wait, can, wait, wait, uh, wait. I'm sorry. What? Wait. You're not joking. No, the movie didn't get released because of COVID. <laughs> or because it was really bad. Wait, so Probably, wait, what wait, is it? Home explain, alone, explain. Home alone 6? So, okay. I guess there actually is a story. So my mom's Japanese. Yeah. And they needed to film a scene that took place in, quote unquote, I guess, like Narita Airport or something. So they, but I don't know why they had to film it. Everything was being filmed in Montreal. So they made a fake airport scene here but there's no japanese people in montreal so right. they actually shipped a bunch uh. in from toronto but they were desperate so they asked my mom because my mom i mean is full japanese right how do they even so, what do you put an ad online that's like looking for sorry, japanese her friend food? knew about this and then told my mom to apply just for fun so my mom right. did Looking at Kevin's dog. <laughs> Primrose. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my mom did apply, and they were so desperate that my mom was like, oh, my sons are also Japanese, but they're half Japanese. And they're like, it's fine, it's fine, doesn't Wait, matter. Would you get paid like 150 bucks or something? Did they pay you anything? Uh, they should, they definitely would have paid It was pretty brutal. You. We got paid in Canadian, I think like 400. Nice. Oh, that's but not it, bad. That's dude, good. but it, it was pretty brutal, like... Um, I felt I could never. That's really good be... though. That's a lot of money. It's like three hundred bucks, right? Like three hundred US. Yeah. Dollars. Yeah, and it's good, but not when you consider. I feel so bad for the people who organize all that stuff, because yeah. oh, it's like filming is ninety percent sitting around, but yeah. like call 10 time actually. Our call time was three fifty a.m. And then you sit around and do nothing until five a.m. Yes, we did nothing until six a.m. Yeah. And then it was constant filming until 6 p.m. Yeah. Oh, really? And what I'm saying is the worst part is the people who managed us, I think their call time was like 2 a.m. Right. They do all the filming until 6. Then they have to make sure that everyone is off the set and everything. They only get back at like 8 or 9 p.m. And oh, then they have so to be back there by 2 a.m. Yeah, and they do that every single day. After one day, wow. I'm like, I'm dead. Um, Dude. But yeah, I'll just like finish the story quickly. Basically, they just let us all, even though we don't even really look that Japanese, um, but we, we coincident were very lucky. They put us in a spot that was in the direct shot of the camera. Probably because I don't know why they chose really? us. But then there was, we actually got yelled at by somebody because the stuff was getting shuffled around and they desperately needed people to move somewhere. So they got us to actually go to a different section that was right in front of the camera. So the guy yelled at us thinking that we were just going on our own to multiple places to try to get in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> but it turned out that we were just being, by chance, thrown there. Um, so if they use the airport scene, I feel like there's almost a guarantee that I am... In... Yeah, because even she told me, epic. she was like, you have to walk so around. Funny. That's so So I, I awesome. purposely... I, I tried to, you know, you know... I, I tried to do my best role as uh, as an extra, but I also, you know, <laughs> yeah. tried to do a little bit of self. I benefited myself a little bit. I tried to be the best nice. Japanese. Person Wait, what I Home Alone was that? I'm gonna look it up. It's the new. It hasn't been released. It's gonna be released something. on Disney Plus. It says 2019. Bob Iger announced that Home Alone is in development. Yeah, yeah it was. It was year. supposed to be released at Christmas last year, but then uh, I think they postponed it to this. Christmas. Oh, hope. Home Alone 6. You know, at some point, I feel like they would just, you know, remember to Direct to DVD. Oh, hey, no. no. Oh, no. This was, this was my big oh, break. No. Oh, no. <laughs> I actually, 
all I want, all I want is just one shot that you can see me. Yeah. And that's it. That, 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 a, that, that's all I need. I'm in a, a Magic Mountain commercial somewhere. I don't, I've never a seen it. A what commercial? A Magic Mountain, the like theme park. Oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Theme park. Um, like the, with the dancing old man. The da, 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 da. Uh, and no it was way. one with like, yeah, it was one with a, with like a, a kid version. So it was like the old man and the little kid. Uh, dressed up like an old they're both dressed up like with like you know bald head and everything i've never seen it i have no idea like we played carnival games we did you know like all sorts of stuff on camera and it was a lot of sitting around and i don't remember like ever seeing it i could never find it wait how, hmm. how long ago was, was it, this like was 10 it years just ago, you maybe. and him oh okay no it was me and like a couple of my friends from high school they were like i followed their facebook page and uh, it was like, we need extras because they have to hire like so many SAG extras, like the union extras. And then <laughs> after some point, they can just like get anybody in there and like, we'll give you free tickets. So we like show up there and it, the whole park is like closed that day. And you just you just literally get, you know, herded around as an extra. And then they paid us with just park tickets. That's so sad. <laughs> you, you should put up a bounty and see if someone can find it somewhere. I would totally, I would be very excited. If someone can find a Magic Mountain, Six Flags Magic Mountain commercial with me in it, I will pay them $100. And you can't, yeah, you you gotta, maybe they never <laughs> produced it. I mean, that may happens not sometimes, have. right? I should hit them up and be like, there is this commercial that you guys filmed ages ago. Like, So when please. about was this? It was like when you were in high school or elementary Like right, school? early college, like right after high school. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, so, okay. yeah it's not that long ago. And you got paid in, in how long ago? Park tickets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I remember sad. we like the whole park's closed too, but so we went into like this one like the kids area. They have this like giant ball pit where it's all pneumatic, right? It's like the balls that like, go through the tubes and stuff, and you can like shoot balls and everything. Um, oh, nice. <laughs> we started playing with the control panel and turned the whole thing on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the all the air pumps and vacuum pumps start like whirring up like it's probably like the loudest thing you could turn on in the park too and it just goes like <laughs> and you start screaming and we like panic and like, like turn it up and just book, yeah, <laughs> booked it out of there <laughs> whoops uh that was fun though i kind of like doing stuff like that like if you do it as your job i mean like you can sort of I, like from nigel's experience it'd be bad yeah the people just looked like they were. Someone asked them, "They're like, how do you do this?" And like, without dying. And she's like, they are "I am dying." <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to talk, judging people by dying. No, because like someone's like, "How?" So one of the extras was like, "I'm so tired. Like, how do you do this without being so tired?" She's like, "I'm on the verge of passing out at any moment. Like, yeah. what made you think I wasn't?" And I was like, oh, this is just miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt so bad because it's it wasn't like the work environment was fine. Like nobody was really it was pretty. I mean, it was stressful, but it didn't seem that bad. But it was just the hours and the amount of time you're expected to be working. And then also not making mistakes because they're managing people and everything. So it's yeah. like you. It's it's tough. Like it's it's definitely one of the. It's pretty, I would not do it. I would not be able to handle that. No, we even like doing the Magic Mountain stuff, they fed us like pizza. So they like, they booted mm -hmm. one of their restaurants up in the park and like fed pizza at lunch. But then they had to, they wanted to like do an extended thing. Um, and they're like, okay, well, if you guys want to stay, like we'll give you, <laughs> we'll pay you more. <laughs> we'll give you more park tickets. <laughs> um, we'll and, give you uh, a second pair. Overtime, that's your <laughs> overtime I'm not even payment. joking. They paid <laughs> us with more park tickets. I think we left, like me and like like three friends left with like eight or nine park tickets. Um, Did you use any of them? I probably, I don't remember. I mean, it was more <laughs> for the experience. And, uh, but food, like you had, they had to feed us because like we, like there was literally no food and we had to stay for like another couple hours. And mm -hmm. they just brought out like a, like chips. Like literally, like the single serving bag like of chips. chips, and they're like, <laughs> and oh my god, I remember I ate like, like probably like ten bags of chips because I was starving, like I was so hungry because we hadn't bags? eaten that much, and I felt I've never felt worse in my life, like stomach <laughs> ache. Like, I, <laughs> did you at least have any water? Like, all right, to now it's time to get on the roller coaster. I think they may have Please given us no. water. I don't remember, dude. It was so bad. It was like I would not do it again. Like they could have surprised fed us. you, like. The time I ate a bunch of the ramen packets without, you know, cooking the noodles. Oh, and then no. I drank a bunch of water and I, you know, they expand in a little bit. And I was like, oh, I don't feel so good. Ooh. Oh, God. Yeah, that's got to be. Imagine like, like ramen noodles soaked up with acid. 
<laughs> Peter, were you ever in, uh, in any movies? Nope, I'm not that photogenic, cool, or handsome, or attractive. That's I'm true. Wait. No. <laughs> he's just three of those, okay, there's he's, a lot of roles he's, available yeah, for you, though. He's, he's doubling three down. Of those, on. <laughs> reasons where appearance related. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the, the most I got was Discovery came out to film some dumb thing with the Lego airplane, but I was never an extra in any movie or anything like that. Oh my god, I was so excited cool. the first time I got hit up by Discovery. It's always Discovery Canada, dude. All the big brands in dude, Canada yeah. are like, they're I, like I watered almost, down American brands. I almost got on TV. It was actually kind of sad. It was, it was a Discovery thing. It was um, Discovery was Canada. Because they I, have no content. They have like no, they're no, just garbage. It, it was a th- it was a, it was sorry it was Daily Planet I think. Yeah 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 yeah. So <laughs> they were like, we'd love to see the ins and outs of how you film everything, and everyone was telling me it was a great opportunity. But this was in 2017. No, it was actually. I mean, it gets. It was more. Yeah, that's when they were doing all of it. It was like 2017, 2018. Yeah. But it was, they were hitting up. I'm everybody. not. I'm not saying that they were the most popular, but they were popular enough that it's like all my friends knew who they were. So it was cool. It would have been cool mm. to go on. But I was too embarrassed because they kept saying, oh, we can see your facilities and oh, we no. can have a crew there to watch you do what you do. And I'm just like, I It would I have film. been like the exploding underwear. Well, I'm like, I film in my parents' garage. There's no place to even sit. Oh, my God. Sit. I'm like, not only well, they is this came a, to my place, that's I, I, what I did. I don't want to broadcast this You let them come too? What is wrong with you guys? What? I wanted to do it. You know, I'm like, why not? You so know, wait, you like so I'm saying bucks, the, the sad then, part... Is that they really I finally I, I finally paid. moved out and got my yeah. like got a place that wasn't a horrendous safety hazard, and then I was like, you know what? I'm actually gonna. I think it could be fun for them to come film for a day. Uh, they don't exist anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Daily, Pla- Daily Planet. <laughs> yeah, they're, it's Daily Planet, right? Discovery they, they shut show. down. Discovery Canada show. Yeah. Oh so, wait, yeah. wait, 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 Peter. I, did you, I just did... had an unbrain fart. Daily Planet did come out for fl- for flight tests when I was working there. They did like a thing <laughs> on the flying aircraft carrier. And that did make it on TV. I, I remember seeing. Did that, they? Did I they think. pay you guys? Uh, I have no idea because I was just working as an employee there at that time. Mm. Yeah, it, it they, ended in May 2018. Oh, that's when right I was when like, they, "Hey, I'm set up in my new office. I'll have them come by." And then man, like, no, we don't exist anymore. <laughs> no wonder they didn't have budget to pay you to film you. But like, dude, if they're gonna come out and like disrupt your stuff, like your day and like waste a day of your time, like they gotta pay you something. I, 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 feel I think. Like, I think there's a difference now, though, because that would be my opinion now. Yeah. But, yeah, but you, would, twi- you would have that opinion now because of making the mistake of doing it. No, I, I think at, in 2018, my view of what the channel and YouTube stuff was, was very much still a little bit mystical. So the yeah. idea of having a film crew there was really enticing. And that was the payment just being right. recognized by some official thing. Whereas now, I would feel like the same way as you are, where I go, but I could film things that I'd rather work right. on rather than have people in the background that I have to trip over. You, like, you realize over time that anyone working on a show like that, like, they're, just, they're just like squirrel-brained, like, trying to do a job. Like, it's, yeah. it's not nearly as cool. I feel like YouTube is so much more genuine than, than a lot of oh, shows yeah. like that. Like, yeah. it's, not, it's, like, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, we're just doing it to do it because we have to make a piece of content. And for us, it's like... like more about what we want to do i, I mean know. it's yeah i mean at least what you want to do is what it's supposed to be <laughs> right <laughs> there are many factors that influence many people's content that is outside of what they want to do i just feel like tv kind of sucks like, I, I made fun yeah. of mark uh mark rober because he was yeah, doing okay, this yeah. tv show and i'm like what are you trying to do impress your grandma <laughs> <laughs> seriously what was his response like, like you to, get, what did he get, respond with like i don't i don't really remember but it was like you know you get what 10 to 20 million views every video like no tv show you ever make is going to compete mm-hmm. with those numbers like why and, like, and then you have dude, to TV deal shows? with all of the fact that like i mentioned before they'll go they'll go oh we're gonna start filming at 6 a.m and right. you're just like uh <laughs> right like you have yeah. to conform to all of the I mean, it's a much bigger organization. So it's I'm like going through yeah. my inbox right now. I have six <sighs> emails from Daily Planet, and I let them use like six of my videos, uh, apparently. God. And this is this is how they uh, they said, "Hey, Kevin, I'm contacting you because I'm the producer of Discovery Channel's flagship science program, Daily Planet." 
I don't know flag, if that's true. Flag, that's the flagship program is like just I know, showing I know. other people's science. <laughs> uh, you've done TV too. I give you, I, Alan. It's the same with Alan. Alan did the Mythbusters I would never do. Search. I would never do it's, a TV show, dude. Again. It's such a again. huge <laughs> waste of time. Like I remember talking to like one of my dad's friends who worked for it was like a TV producer, and she like you would work for like, you get like eight weeks of work. They'd give you a budget. They'd be like, here's what, I don't know how much they give you for a TV show, like, like $50,000 or something. And it's like, oh my this God, is like I for a trap. Yeah. Well, Kevin got whole like $50. Thing. No, no, no. I'm saying like, imagine, imagine if like that includes like traveling and like planning and like hiring a camera person and insurance. I mean like, dude, that money would go away really, really quick. Cause like filming stuff professionally is like really expensive. Yeah. And, and so you know, they'd give you this money and then you would make a, like, let's say you'd make pretty good money. Like you could make double what you'd make working like a normal job for that time. But then after that, like eight weeks or 13 weeks or whatever, then you don't have a job anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have yeah. to like go on unemployment and you have to keep coming up with ideas and like pitch new stuff. And then they tell you no or whatever. And so it's like, it's hard. you know, it's hard. It's really hard. Hard like, work too, to be on a TV show. Like, you know, yeah. crack of dawn call times. You're there for like 12 mm. hours. Right. Half of the time you're doing nothing. Yeah. It's just a huge waste of your time. Like, I mean, because you did. You I did always that, thought like, if you were like a camera person, it would probably be cooler or somebody like, you know, the, the talent has it kind of good because they don't right. have to do a lot of work, but they also stand around a lot. But then the camera people, they get to go off on like all kinds of shoots like right. around the world. Well, I mean, it like, depends. I'm super jealous of the GoPro people. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on what type of camera guy you are, because if you're like a camera guy in a traditional just movie set that films everything locally you're really it's not going to be nearly as exciting yeah. as being a, a national geographic uh like and photographer you don't travel like with the movie sets like yeah. in different locations the movies have different crews but that's also right. a bigger like a budget show. movie right Dude, yeah all i know is like the times that i've worked on on battle bots have been like like every time I do it, I'm just like, oh my God, it's like two weeks. It's two weeks. And at the very end of like every day being, you know, realistically, it's like probably 12 hour days and you're living in a hotel and yep. you're just fried. You're That's just cute. like, you're, you're so exhausted. You're like, why did I do that? Like, why That's did how it I... feels working on all of my projects? Yeah. Well, but then the problem <laughs> is then it, like if the opportunity arises again and I'm like, well, like I have to do it because it's, you know, it's battle bots. Like it's cool and it's fun. <laughs> and then it's the same cycle over and over. We're just like, ah, yep. at the end of it, you're just, you're so done. It's just so like, you know, because you stay there, you know, like they don't want you working overtime because they have to pay you more. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you kind of just like you want to be there. And so you sort of just end up working more. Mm. <laughs> and you then know? it kind of like, kills the illusion for you. Um, like when you see other shows, yeah, I kind of think about like it, it's still that must it's still really forever. cool. I feel like BattleBots is probably as real as it gets. Like, oh you know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like an actual competition. It's just it's just like it's so much time. It's so much time, and you're so tired, and you're like not sleeping, and you're living in a hotel. I, like, I think that's uh, interesting that that's a part of just show and movie making and just in general where you don't see how tiring everything yeah. is just to put it yeah. all together. Everyone's just being completely crushed. Right. And, and I, I, there's I probably like very I few people easy. who are, sorry. And you had it easy compared to other people. Like competitors probably. Yeah. If you're a competitor, yeah. it's way worse. Like, Oh yeah. yeah. Imagine like a full scale movie set though. Like it's, I oh, bet yeah. those guys are crammed. Well, yeah. I think like Will said, he's like, you're eight weeks on and then you, you're off and you're unemployed. I think maybe you're pretty happy you're unemployed because your brain you're is like just exhausted. broken. Yeah. <laughs> it's too you, much though. You no longer, you have to not be employed for a month just to recover. Yeah, but then you're like panicking trying to find new jobs. You two so you're together. both mentally crushed and you have <laughs> panic because you don't know when. And then you, I guess you're excited to get your next job, but then it just crushes you more. <laughs> Peter, where the hell are you? It's like when... Oh, I'm, all, I'm still here. I'm just listening. He's more of a listener. <laughs> yeah, because well, Peter's the one who doesn't have a webcam I, I have no input to this. I'm just like trying to... Sc I'm scrambling work, my brain You worked at Fly Test. You've worked on like a show kind uh, of. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. I mean, just <laughs> Tell us. Give us Fly Test drama. Give, give us the okay, tea. lots of that. 
Tell us things <laughs> that should be Give cut us... out of the podcast, but you'll let yeah, stay in anyway. But we let it slide anyways. You gotta have a. You got You can find a middle ground story where it's like you know. Mm, did you see any of their? Winners? I mean, it's 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 <laughs> it's definitely chaotic. I'm still friends with all of them, which is yeah. still, it's still fun. But it, my God, there was drama everywhere you go. You were, you I kind of one were side like story, and I get another one, and it's like, oh, who would I believe at this point? Why am I here? Can I just get paid to do my job and go home? Hey, can I have a raise? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, I'm going to make my own YouTube channel then. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's kind of how it went. So. Working with other people can be hard. That's why YouTube's great. Yeah. It's just like, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes the platform sucks, but, like, doing it is fun. I mean, right now, I feel kind of in, a, like, a bit of a lull. Like, I've had, like, three bad performing videos, and I'm like, That's uh, your fault, though. what I do? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the first boat video did pretty good. The second one, not so much. The Dining House stuff is not as interesting to watch i guess so yeah yeah imagine though like like doing you know like a tv show though and having it not perform well and you've like mm-hmm. put all those hours in and you know, it's yeah. like how depressing that i mean would be. see that's the thing I, I think about constantly like yeah like what you could complain about like it sucks you having to do all this stuff but like being talented is like a lot of stuff is like over your head like well the camera isn't working typically you know as we deal with like even with this podcast it's all it all, fall, all falls on our heads but oh my else god! Is, like, screw up. Yeah, that was like when I'm we were like, doing the oyster yeah. farming, mm-hmm. when everything oh, just yeah. like like the GoPros like mm-hmm. dying, the batteries Everything's like running out of batteries. It, the drone, <laughs> drone got knocked getting into the water. Knocked, not, oh my god, dude! It was it was brand new <laughs> DJI like Ma- what, what Mavic That's made. What was it? Would you get Mavic? How did you? Okay, now? okay. Yeah, it was a right, Mavic Air two. Oh god. As someone who doesn't really crash drones very often, because I'm the professional pilot, it wasn't. <laughs> How flying. did you crash a drone? It wasn't flying. It was on. It was on like the very small counter that like was above dash, the like a dash. Oh, yeah, no, and it, that's even worse. And one of the so farmers, you just knocked into the water. Yeah, well, because we were. It's just, oh. dude. It's like it's just. Uh. We we woke up at like four five o'clock in the morning. We went to yeah. bed at like two. We had three <laughs> hours of sleep. We're out there like. Will is actually working like super hard, like as an oyster man. Right. Like taking these oysters, shaking them out. I'm like, I'm filming everything. I'm soaking wet. I'm trying. There's like, there's no safe space this. on the boat to put your equipment. No. It's like everything is no, like you're like standing in water. Right. So it just got knocked into like a pool of right. water. So. All right, hold on, hold. On. What's the backstory? Is this is this a video for you, William? Yeah, yeah. We went to we went to something? Massachusetts okay. and became oyster farmers. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. And we, we know all the trade secrets. We know all the trade secrets. We know exactly what to do to farm oysters. Okay, so we should get my ROV and go rip some oysters oh. off the ocean. Floor. Oh, oh, we got to oh, do okay. that. I was, talk, I was texting you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. About I know this. where you're going with this. You know where I'm going with this. There is apparently yeah. uh, a very weird type of crab that lives mm. off of the the coast here in California, and it's like it's okay. kind of like a king crab. So Chelsea's brother is a fisherman. And he was telling us about this. And uh, I was asking him, like, will they get mad if, if, I, if we do a video? And it's like, as long as you don't show where you go, it doesn't really matter. Ooh. They just, you, people don't want to give up their spots, if that makes any sense. Yeah. So I feel like we could that talk about true. it. That is true. It's basically a I've king seen, crab. Like, angry it's a, it's straight really up, funny. it's a king crab off the coast of California. It's like this one little population of them or There's something? A, but they're just deep, apparently. And it's, like, hard to catch them, like, for whatever reason. Um, oh, and yeah. so like you can't really it's hard to do commercially or yeah I guess like I don't dude I don't know like maybe just no one's really figured it out so I think we should take Peter's ROV and like go out into the ocean you know like like five six miles off the coast or, or wherever they are I don't I don't they're somewhere in between here um, and the islands and just go down and see if we can grab a crab with the ROV. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> I don't think they're that, that fast, awesome. too, which is the funny part. I don't think so either. Or be confused. We, we can put, like, a hoop net down below, which is, like, because mm-hmm. um, I used to do a bunch of crab fishing off the pier because you don't need a license. It's, like, it's a big ring, like, maybe three, like, four feet in diameter, a big metal ring mm-hmm. that's woven into a net. And then in the center of the net, there's, like, a lot of slack, so the, the net would kind of, like, sag. There's another ring that's maybe, like, two feet in diameter. And so when you when you lower this net down, the center ring touches the ground, and then the big ring touches the ground. The net's flat. Like, it collapses flat on the ground. Mm-hmm. And then crabs go into it, um, and they're, like, eating the bait that you put in, like, a little pouch. And then you just, after some period of time, you just lift it up. And so the outer ring is what's tied to the string. So the it. outer ring comes up, and it creates that, like, that bucket that then the crabs like, can't climb out of the net. They're not encapsulated. It's just like as you pull them up, they can't climb over the ledge. To yeah, because it's like the water's keeping them down. So you've got to 
get it up fast. Exactly. Enough. You have you to have pull to keep it up reeling fast. It up the whole time, yeah. Yeah. You don't have to go crazy fast. Um, but still it's like just enough to keep the water pressure in right. there, so, you know. But you have to escape. guess. It's dumb. like when do you think crabs are there? So if you had the ROV, you could just like hover yeah. around the net and wait till a crab <laughs> goes into it and just rip them up like <laughs> <laughs> And then you've got a king crab that you caught. I saw and a picture. Do, you, do they look What do you huh? do with it? You yeah, you, you, you bonk it. it on the head and put it in a pot of hot water and eat it. I do this not could be like so delicious. crab. Why not? And I don't like what? the way they taste, and I don't like the way they look. Crab is like I mean, the I, best. I'm crustacean. not a fan of the way they Have you ever but have you so ever good. seen a Japanese uh, spider crab? Uh, is that any is that different from a normal spider crab? Maybe describe not. it. Maybe we I saw know. one when we were oyster. They're huge. Japanese spider describe crab. the differences. There was a bunch of yeah. We saw some. I don't know what a spider crab. Yeah, yeah. It's just a spider crab, I think. Oh, good god. These are very long legs. Is that real? Holy so crap, we saw them Nigel. in the like aquarium in legs. Japan, and it scared me. I don't like the look of them. I would be scared too. It's a long ass boy. So there's a it's few like, pictures where they're I'm trying. Just, to, we gotta describe. It. You have to describe what it looks like without. Uh, well, it's a like picture. a crab, but just really long legs. <laughs> like really long legs. It looks like it's a daddy yeah. long leg looking crab. <laughs> yeah, Imagine yeah, a crab, funniest. but it has the daddy long leg <laughs> leg ratio. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually insane. It wouldn't even be able to stand up on land, dude. It would just like drag its body around. <laughs> They're just kind of like flat. Like, like it, looks like, it looks like a, it looks kind of like a tick. Like a, you, you've seen those ticks, right? Just imagine a tick with like super duper long legs, like five times longer than its body in the inspire like fashion. I just don't like, like them. Crawling they around look, the water and stuff. They look so alien like. Wow. They do. Mm-hmm. So oh, why man. would you want to eat you, that? Eat we them. caught one of those too ages ago. We like it barely fit into a five gallon bucket. Like the legs were like sticking up and it was like <laughs> trying to get out of We like we were like in the car with this giant spider crab in a five gallon bucket. We were just like shoving it, like get back in the bucket. And then we took it back to my friend's house to cook it. And we had like the biggest pot we could find. And we, you know, fill it up like halfway with water because the crab will displace water, so you can't fill it up all the way. And <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Uh, um, so the problem with with uh, with, bo- with killing crabs in boiling water is that you you need a lot of heat, and water has a high heat capacity, but like mm. the crab is also a lot of water. So you need like a lot of water to sort of balance oh, out the heat. You know, it's like throwing ice cubes into boiling water, right? So. We didn't have enough thermal mass to really like do a good job killing the crab, uh, and so oh, we no. we like it took away. It was made it really bad. Angry. It was so bad. It was. Oh, so, you just I felt basically so you bad. basically boiled the frog we in the water. Basically, right? it was like putting <laughs> it's like it. putting the crab in boiling water and then the, brought it back down to lower temperature Ooh. and then the temperature <laughs> slowly came back <laughs> up and killed the crab. <laughs> 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 but it, like, what are we gonna do oh at that God. point? Like we didn't do, we didn't know what we were doing. We were like, you know, like maybe it's like too hot to take out and bonk. So you're like, oh. yeah. And it was big. It was a big boy. I don't know. I. Yeah. So how do you how do you feel in general about just the killing crabs and lobsters by just throwing them in boiling water? What's if your you take have on enough, that? If you have enough water, it's fine. They die really quickly. If you don't so have enough water, fat. What? How quickly? I don't know. Like seconds. Like. Yeah, seconds. probably. Yeah, I, I mean, would say really drinking <laughs> boiling maybe. water and then falling into it at the same time. But, just, like, those crawfish, those were instant. The crawfish you know? die really quickly, yeah. Yeah. But that's what did you yeah. yeah, they, 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 no, they have, like, no heat capacity. The heat would just instantly go to their brains and they just die. So look at this is science. We're talking like, about the heat capacity of a crab. A big one. Do, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I have no experience with it. Now do, we're talking do, science. Do they scream? Because I guess you could just gauge... Oh. They just cl- they just clunk around. I mean, I guess because they don't they <laughs> they die really quick. Like an, a, if you have the right amount of water, they die really quick. If you don't have a big enough pot, you probably should throw it back into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't why can't you just bonk them on the head? Or something? Because their like, shells are like armor. No, you, I think you put a knife and then you just you. You I saw you should have seen it. this thing. I, I saw it, a chef depends do on it. what kind you of crab it is. Ventilate it. Yeah, you ventilate the crab. Yeah, you <laughs> ventilate it right between the eyes. <laughs> You pull out a small twenty two revolver and you pop it's, it right it's right my It's my kitchen skull. gun. <laughs> <laughs> I keep it in the drawer with my lighters and, and bottle opener. It's my chef's gun. Well, I think oh, it yeah. was, I, hey. I saw a chef it's kill it with a knife super quickly, and he claimed what it kind was of the humane way. You, Sorry? I'm telling it wasn't you, a crab. It was a lobster, so that's different. Lobsters have thinner shells. And I think they have like openings that you can cut, whereas the crab. Yeah. I have no experience. I just stay away from all of them. Uh, yeah. 
Hey, you, you see those things for cows, right? Those cow guns. Yeah, I was going to say, you could get that one. <laughs> we could use one of those, yeah. A I mean, pneumatic bolt like gun to... in your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Kevin, it's literally the uh, the, the nailing gun we the were one playing with. Or just get a nail yeah. gun. <laughs> yeah, the one uh, punch gun. Have you, I, I, I've showed, have you guys showed out. you the crab processing video? I kind of want to do like a, a, a oh, commentary no. video of crab processing. Yeah, it just tears their arms off. It is so splits the brutal. Dude, it is so brutal. Like, it's, yeah, here it's, I am criticizing I, it's throwing really them bad. in boiling water, and this one I, just tears it, it, them it, it, like pieces. rips their heads off. Like it's so violent. Like, they're already dead though. There's like they're, they're, there's music. like a saw blade that goes zero. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it's, it's, they they have. have like this like YouTube royalty free techno music going on. With, like it's got the drop. Like <laughs> crabs just being <laughs> eviscerated. <laughs> I really want to eat. Crab have a heart? Crabs? I don't know. Yeah, do they have? I a heart? don't think. I'm very confused about the anatomy. Of yeah, they've got I now. like bugs and that definitely have hearts. The bug system, how they crabs don't have a heart. They, they have an open circulatory up. system. Because I think they have lymph That's and crazy. it's all hydraulic. While they move around, it just kind of moves. Oh um, yeah, like <laughs> I think, dude. I did bio yeah. like ten years ago. <laughs> well, I know that animals have like or insects have like book lungs. Well, like, like they kind of just. Ants don't, Abs you know, like they they just absorb oxygen. Yeah, exactly. They just kind of absorb yeah, it through their, through their exoskeleton. Do, yeah, right. Yeah. I read a Snapple fact ages ago that you can absorb oxygen. Oh yeah, skin. you're right. They do. There's they don't have like, yeah. That's why I think some of the poisons for them they just block. I think you can make little poisons that just block that. Well, it's like um, if you I was in biochem. So when I was after I graduated, I think or while I was still in school, there were people who got research jobs and one person that i knew one of my friends she worked in the uh, one of the animal research labs mm. and she's like uh -oh. she well she just goes i she described her job numb. well she just described her job as just the executioner yes the executioner because what she did was after they genetically modified the mice and you had to go and do the testing on it it was her job to cut their spines I think that's what they did. It's like, she's like, she would go in and just like, you know, sever their spine and, or you can that's kill brutal. them with like a gas so tank. Gas. You, you yeah. gas them. Yeah. Well, I think she's like, she's like, you just, you kill them and then you have to like take their livers out and other stuff to like, uh, to do testing. Eat. Oh yeah. To eat. You just eat all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's very yeah. heavily regulated that whole thing, but she's just like, I, she's, yeah, she's like, I'm just numb to it. She's like, all I do is yeah. just. Like at some point, the gas probably becomes like just a formality of like it's just stupid. You're like, this is it's faster just to do it by hand. Like, I think that's what she yeah. kind of said. Where it was like, mm -hmm. it, it's the gas. I think she said was actually in sometimes worse because yeah. they would you could see them like when faster, they slower. They start freaking out when they're not breathing when they know that they're kind of passing. Because they probably out do stuff. it with CO two or something, and so they it feels do, like they're so drowning. One of them is CO two, so it's just terrible. I don't know right. why they wouldn't do it with nitrogen or something, but it's like, I think they do freak out where she's like, if you just take a scalpel or something, you just, I don't know how they do it. It's like, you just cut their spine or you, or I think you might actually with your hand crack their neck. Yeah. That's probably, and she's like, it. it's there's it's instant. And that's right. kind of, then there's nothing. There's no, I mean, at least you don't it's like opening a, a bag of chips. Yes. It's like peeling I don't know all the ins and outs of how it's done. <laughs> no. It's like cracking an egg. I just have a visual of that now. Just Dude, like, uh, I don't know how they. I don't remember the details of everywhere. what she said, but I do remember her saying, "She's like, yeah, you know, it was rough at first, but you get numb Pe to it." People are so disconnected from like where their food comes from, and they like mm. they hear a story like this and like, "Oh, that's so bad," and then they're like like eating some chicken nuggies oh. for dinner as they like. <laughs> oh, those are the yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. dude, it's yeah. Like the crab really, factory. There's the chicken factory yeah. where they're just you know throwing the chickens into just the, the industrial. Uh, What's it called? Like oh, the defeathering machine shredder. or the grinders? Well, they, the yeah, they're just the grinder just crushes everything. Or they, so they, first they debone it, right? And now then first, they, first they have to they put it on an assembly line that dunks their head into an electrified pool of water. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it's not, uh, are we gonna talk yeah. about this? I, I see you, another oh, one with God. the saw blade I, and the chicken dude, feet. They were hanging inverted. Their feet are connected to the ground. Like the defibrillator versus steak video. I looked all all this up, and they start by like dipping the chicken's heads. Mm -hmm into a pool of water uh, that's like electrocuted to stun them and like oh. you think it just like you think it's that simple right but no there's like whole papers on like how far they have to be apart and like what angle the entrance and exit of the water is and like 
Like people do PhD research on <laughs> like the it. tiniest part of the assembly line. Ouchie. It's wild. I, I, I really cute want poor chickens heads. I think I think yeah, like, like that was somebody's PhD. It frustrates me, but I really want to like like go like kill something and eat it. Like I want to go through the process that you would have to go through. Like if you couldn't go to the grocery store and get like chicken. Like I think there's a lot of food I would stop eating. Like I'd probably stop eating pork and I'd probably stop eating beef if I had to kill everything myself. Chickens, I think I could do fish. Or chickens, like, all day. Yeah, I could do chickens. Dude, fi yeah. fish are like oh, fish, dumb fish are stupid. And crap. I don't feel bad. Yeah, about fish. yeah, like a lot of seafood. Mm -hmm. um, but like I, I feel like people get really mad, and I'm kind of like it makes me sad because I think people are just ignorant to you know like it's like this idea of death is like so taboo but then you know they go down to Macers and get their big mac and like it's like subsidized beef the government like pays you know it's just like it's this whole like system that's like super accepted mm. and and at the end of the day like something yeah. dies to make it happen but then people also like get you know, squeamish with death and so i really would like to sort of do something where you actually like have to like from the bottom up like you know, maybe not raise it. Raising it would probably make it worse, but like kill something, like actually kill <laughs> oh, something. Yeah. No, and you like, have to raise it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I have chickens and I'm like, you know, I probably could kill this thing if I really wanted to eat it. I would feel bad. And I would definitely, I, I have a pecking order from which I would kill these things because one of them is just kind of an ass. And I don't feel bad about killing that one. Was that a, was that joke I would feel purpose? so bad about killing the chickens, says Peter, as he cracks open an egg for an omelet every <laughs> I <know>. morning. <laughs> <laughs> I just find it, but I it's do normal. find it's the babies. Hey. I do find it interesting, though, eggs, though, that, like you said, there's this taboo when it comes to hunting or killing an animal like that. But it's like you walking up to a chicken, breaking its neck or just chopping yeah. its head off. Is that better or worse than having them strapped into an assembly line and run through an electrified oh, water so pool? so much better. Dude, <laughs> kill me like, like yeah, dude, yeah. yeah. No, that's how I like, no. I nope. think from a more moral standpoint, I'm just standpoint saying too, that, like, like, you did it, you eat it. It's... It's so yeah, but the worse spreadsheet, the spreadsheet says line. we must use the machine. <laughs> 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 we must listen to the almighty like, spreadsheet. <laughs> even like the crab, like Kevin says, just bonking, like cracking its head off with a hammer or something. <laughs> like bonk, versus bonk. that machine. Yeah, you have to defeat them. <laughs> but I'm saying versus combat. that machine <laughs> that straps their arms in and then puts them down with saws that just cut their shell open. I think they might like, be dead at that point. I think they're so dead. Much to, be fair, to be fair, they are dead. They're dead before they get on the conveyor. Well, I hope. Because they're, they're, they're limp. They could be and frozen the, already. The machine has like suction thing. Yeah, I think they're flash frozen maybe. maybe. I, I, I don't know. I'm just speculating. That is true. Point. They are not. Uh, but they're, they're, not, they're not moving. Maybe like, there's someone behind the scenes the bonking video. them. <laughs> <laughs> bonk. Bonk. Because yeah, the, the pick and place grabs them. <laughs> That's all. I, just kind of, I just think about the, um, the people on the assembly line who are just picking up all of the crab pieces. Like, all they just see, all day, is a crab a second getting split open. Oh my God. You just, you I get just so numb to it. I would not be able to deal with that. Maybe for crabs, probably, but, like, for any other animal, I don't know. I bet it Dude, would be kind I, of I still think bad. you get numbed. You, I think you totally get numbed to mm. it. Well, that's why a lot like, of those animal Yeah, maybe, abuse... but, like, you, like, probably get numb to everything. Yeah. You know? Like, it probably messes you up. Well, I that's think how it more than probably just like, does, yeah. Yeah, but that's how I figured that's how the animal abuse things work. Like when they take the, the private camera and the guys are just kicking the cows or kicking the pigs and stuff. And it's like the guy's probably 10 years in of using the bolt gun, you know, 50 times a day. So he's just, he's lost it. He has no I idea. Think, he think of this, really though, like, like, if, you, if you walked into your living room yeah. and like one of your family members is dead, you're going to like lose it. But like there's people whose job it is, is to like all day, every day yeah. deal with dead bodies. Like, like Scoop they, they're not, people, they don't you know? freak out. Like, dude, they're putting all sorts yeah. of, like, if you learn half the stuff that happens at a mortuary, like, mm. they have these, like, little spiky contacts to, like, keep people's eyes closed. It's, like, a little piece of plastic that sits <laughs> on the eyeball that has, like, like spikes on it. And they, like, pull the eyelid oh, over that's it. Epic. And it, like, locks the eyelid that. to the eyeball. Like, oh, wow. I, I honestly thought they used super glue or something. No, it, it's, like, I mean, a little bit of sienna for all intents and purposes, like, that's, that's horrific. <laughs> but at the end of the day, like, I mean, we mm -hmm. want... If you want to do a viewing, it's which a job. I find that <laughs> even like just the medical field too, because if you take uh, anatomy or you just go into medicine of some kind, uh, yeah. and you get you have to go to the anatomy lab, like you have to learn mm -hmm. the anatomy. And I remember a friend of mine who was doing um, uh, her major in anatomy. Part of it is, I mean, one of your exams is they have you have to dissect things and everything, but it's anatomy of humans, so it's bodies that were donated. So can't I remember her telling me. Human. Sorry, yeah, you don't you, you don't do get to do the live human. ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I remember her telling me she's like, oh yeah, if you go to the anatomy lab, uh, yeah, there's just buckets of hands because 
you know, and there's brains. I don't know. I don't, the brains bucket. are hard to get because they, those go to research, but it's like there are hand buckets and like just different body parts because they oh use them to, tr to teach people. Like you have right. to cut open Weird. the hand and show the tendons and where they are and everything. Uh -huh. but, and she invited yeah. me. A literal bag of dicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have a bucket of penis? I don't, I don't think. I don't think they have that. Um, but like, she, like you're dead, looking at your at your dick viewership counter, and it's just, <laughs> just going up, and you're like, "What's going on down there?" But they, they play more with games, yeah. like pin the pin the pin the wiener back on the uh, post. <laughs> I don't think they do. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's it's they're very very respectful in how it's all done. Mm -hmm. So it's like I was invited to go. Hey, they don't want ghosts, but mm -hmm. I never ended up making it because they didn't have time. But it's all done very respectfully. So yes, you cannot just will you can't wave hands around and you know play games in it or I think you just get expelled. <laughs> High so, five. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, uh, I, like, <laughs> I mean these people donated their bodies, so you're not supposed to do any of that. Uh, but it is just weird. What do I care? I'd be dead. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I mean, if, yeah, I, if I was I, watching from heaven or whatever, I I would have a laugh. Dude, being I'd dead like, is have easy. Fun with my body parts. You, you yeah. Peter, you look down at the guy waving around your body parts. You think that's funny? <laughs> I'm like, ah, yeah, I'd be like, ah, at least he's having a laugh. <laughs> I feel like Peter would be mad. Peter would totally be mad. <laughs> My camera just turned off. Oh, no. Wow. I don't know. Is that a good time to end? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good time to end because I'm running out of card space, too.